Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to do another story time with our story, Jackson. Um, I'm going to read it again. You've had some work with us the past couple weeks. Um, we talked about the characters and this time we're going to do um, the setting and the main events. All right, so I'm gonna start by reading the story, Jackson, and I want you to follow along with me on your paper um, and listen carefully. So the title of my story is Jackson. Ed had a pet dog, Jackson. Jackson was Ed's best friend. They got up at sunrise. Just when Ed was finishing a pancake, Jackson came to him with a ball. Ed put on his jacket and they went out. Jackson and Ed had fun with the ball. Then the ball went into a bucket of mud in the sandbox. Jackson did not see it. He dug in the sand but did not get the ball. It was not there. Then the bucket fell over and the ball fell out. The mud fell out too and landed on Jackson. He was a mess. At sunset, Jackson and Ed had a nap. It was a fun day. All right, so what I want you to do here is pause this video, and I want you to read this on your own. I read it once to you today, and I had another video where I read it to you again. I want you to try reading this um, whole thing on your own. Look at the periods and take a stop there. Look at, there's a few exclamation points. So you kind of make your voice bigger. Um, so pause and um, we'll keep going. So just hit the little pause button. Okay, now we're back and we're going to talk about, <clears throat> um, quickly the characters. We've already done a video with characters. So I'm just going to tell you them quickly. We had two characters in the story. One um, was Ed a boy. Ed is usually a boy's name. And um, the second was Ed's pet dog, Jackson. So on your chart, you would be drawing a picture of Ed, like a boy. And then Jackson would be a picture of a dog. You guys are such good artists. I'm sure it looks great. Okay. So the setting of my story. Think in your brains, where is the story taking place? And it's not just outside. We are almost second graders. We can do way more than just saying outside or inside. There's details in the story that we can go back and look and give more details on our chart for the setting. So one thing I see for setting is um, sunrise. That's a time. That's when the sun is coming up in the day and it's morning. So morning is part of our setting. Um, they were making a pancake. Where do you usually make pancakes? Like in a kitchen. That could be part of the setting. Um, inside the house, in the kitchen. Uh, they also, after that, they went outside and they were where? Where did they play? The sandbox. That's part of a setting. And then after that, it said at sunset, they took a nap. Sunset is when the sun goes down and it becomes night. So those are all big words that help us learn and make a picture in our brain about the setting. Sunrise, sunset, making a pancake, where do you do that? A sandbox. Those are all things that I can think about inside my brain when I'm making a movie and envisioning this story. So those are all pieces of your setting. I want you to like put that into some great almost second grader sentences. And um, we're gonna talk about the main events. Okay, pause if you need to, fill out the setting and then move into the main events. Okay, main events. Main events we can think about as beginning, middle, end. We know these. What happened in the beginning? What happened in the middle? What happened in the end? And what were the big important parts in this? There's some things that aren't always as important to include when you're trying to give like a summary, some big details about what we're reading. So let's think about beginning, middle, and end. And I know sometimes I'll tell friends in my class, 
we can look about on these stories how they're broken up. So we can see that there's kind of three different pieces of this story when we're just using our eyeballs and looking at it. And that can be helpful, not always helpful, but these stories that can be helpful. Figuring out what happened first, second, third, beginning, middle, end. Okay, so what I'm going to say is beginning. My first, what happened first in my beginning is um, Ed and Jackson, uh, they went outside and had fun with the ball. Simple. I could include that Ed was making a pancake and Jackson came up. Um, those are extra details, but the big part of the story is Ed and Jackson, Jackson the dog, went outside and they had fun with the ball. Then, my middle is then, um, the ball went into mud in the sandbox and Jackson couldn't find it. Finally, Jackson found the ball and he was covered in mud. And that's my end of the story. You could have added some different pieces of the story. You could have included different details, but we just want to get like the good few, like three sentences from this story. This story has way more than three sentences in it. You're not going to copy it down for the main events. You're going to give me three sentences that show me what are three main events that happen in the story in order of beginning, middle, and end. Um, and a good way you could test this is if you have a sibling, a brother, a sister, someone at home, and you tell them your beginning, middle, and end, and they haven't read the story before. And then they can kind of check it with you. Okay, so this is my end of this video. Um, I want you to go ahead, fill out that chart all by yourself, and we will see you again for another video. Bye, guys.